Johnny. Now we have some very important visitors here in the house, so I kind of have to keep it down. So I'm not going to be getting all crazy. This week, I want to talk to you a little bit about Hugo, which is the Swedish... He says them Swedes knock it up. Said they said... Which in Danish basically means snug, but encapsulates so much more than that. See... Huga, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is this whole concept of lasting through the winter through the use of warm atmosphere, enjoying good conversation with good people while eating good food. And it's somewhat poignant that I bring this up just at the time of the solstice. Eris knows the whole celebration-y aspect of both Christmas and Yule is all about this kind of warmth and energy and hot cocoa and all of that shit. But there's more to it than that, see? The concept of Huga takes a real emphasis in slowing down, living in the moment and making those moments memorable. Maybe it's waking up in the morning and sitting down and enjoying a hot cup of tea. Maybe it's as simple as lighting a candle for dinner or even just snuggling with your partner or your best friend and reading a book together. Because man, who doesn't like reading books? And it feels a lot like Zen, bloody moon pointers. But Zen that's been all wrapped up inside of a snuggly blanket. And like I say, Christmas is very Hugue. But Hugue is bigger than Christmas. We're more popular than Jesus. In fact, judicious practice of Hugue, not only in the months leading up to Christmas, but especially in the months afterwards, may be the sanest way to get oneself through the wintertime. Especially if you live in the northern latitudes, and especially if you've got seasonal affective disorder. Thanks and shoutouts to my baby for bringing this neat little idea to my attention. I didn't choose the snug life. The snug life chose me. And until next time, kids, snuggling is fun.